What's going on guys, Lefty Good Zombies here, back with another Pogo video, and in today's video guys, we are talking about some small updates that Pokemon Go made to the Safari Zone blog post. So yeah, I've made a video about this already, uh, talking about the Safari Zones back in July, um, as to, you know, that there will be three Safari Zones this coming fall in the months of October and November, so I do recommend you guys check out that video, uh, because yeah, these events will be pretty good, uh, they do also feel feature a brand new shiny at all three of them it will be shiny skiddo it's featured at every single safari zone and these safari zones will not be in park locations they will be for the entire city area that they're being held in uh for example mexico city the entirety of mexico city will be playable for the safari zone so yeah these safari zones are pretty cool uh definitely want to play them guys if you want to buy tickets go to the events tab in your game uh the same way you guys bought go fest tickets for nyc or for london it's in that same events tab uh but yeah the updates that i want to talk about today in the video are just some like small updates but i think they should be noted and i want to make sure you guys know about this uh the main thing is they give us more updates on how to go after the brand new costumed eevee now this eevee will be pretty rare um this is pretty much like in the same tier as almost the nightcap snorlax kind of uh, because yeah, it's paywalled the EV right and for two It's not gonna be spawning you only get a set amount of chances to get the shiny via research So it is kind of up there in that same tier as the nightcap Snorlax, right? So yeah, this EV can be shiny. So let's talk about how to go after it So first things first they mentioned this even back in July that there will be a special research for the Safari Zone uh, and at the beginning of it, you guys will get the City Safari uh, Eevee. Now, I don't know if there will be multiple Eevee encounters in the special research, but I think on page one, they will give you at least one encounter of the Eevee. But they also did mention this too. This got updated on the blog post too, that yes, the Eevee can be shiny, of course, and it can also evolve into any evolution so if you guys are a hardcore shiny hunter and you go for every shiny costume pokemon and its evolution um good luck completing this on your account because yeah it's gonna be very tough to do to get every single shiny safari hat evolution in the game good luck on that one guys so yeah they did confirm that it can evolve so that's awesome that's amazing right but what they also did mention too is that there will be a timed research as well that does give you guys a few more encounters of the safari hat eevee so how many encounters will you guys get in the timed research well it does say here in small font ticket holders can receive up to eight encounters with eevee wearing the explorer hat as part of the eevee explorers timed research in addition to the eevee as part of the event special research. So they do kind of confirm here, I guess, that you only get one costumed Safari Hat Eevee in the special research, and you get eight more in the timed research. So therefore, if you just have one ticket for one day, you only have nine chances for the shiny Safari Hat Eevee. So, like I said, guys, it's kind of on that same tier as Nightcap Snorlax. This will not be too easy to get. I reckon this should be shiny boosted, though, whereas the Snorlax, I think, is full odds. I reckon the Eevee here should be 1 in 64 shiny rate, but still, only 9 chances. That is pretty rough. But, if you guys get a second day add-on, as you see right here, for citywide gameplay, you can get an additional eight more encounters of the Eevee on your second day of gameplay. So that will put you at 17 total checks for a shiny Safari Hat Eevee. So if you're a hardcore shiny hunter, you may want to consider a second day add-on for the Safari Zone that you guys are playing. Now, if you play every Safari Zone and also buy the second day add-on, that's like what? That's gonna be around 
51 uh, encounters of the Safari Hat Eevee. So now you're looking pretty good. You probably will score at least one shiny Safari Hat Eevee from 51 checks. But yeah, like I said guys, this Eevee is gonna be pretty rare here in Pokemon Go since it will not be spawning and it's only in the research for the Safari Zone events. So yeah guys, that pretty much summarizes the whole situation with the Safari Hat Eevee. It's gonna be pretty tough to get, so I wish you guys the best of luck in that research if you guys do play the Safari Zone for that awesome shiny. Uh, but also, the last thing they did update on the blog posts for the Safari Zones were the featured event 7km eggs. Now you guys could buy the Egg Enthusiast add-on to unlock half hatch distance during the event if you guys want to, uh, but if not, these will just be of course 7km eggs. Uh, so for the Seoul South Korea Safari Zone, which is October 7th to October 8th, the featured 7Ks are going to be Heracross, Skiddo, Dedenne, and Noibat. And all four of these should be 1 in 64 shiny rate, I'm assuming. They should be shiny boosted, so all of these should be 1 in 64. So another way to go after Heracross, the brand new shiny Skiddo as well. Uh, so you guys may want to consider hatching 7Ks during the event. Now for the Barcelona Spain event, which is October 13th and October 14th, the featured 7Ks are Zangoose, Relicanth, Gibble, and Skiddo as well. So if you really want Shiny Relicanth, you might want to consider hatching 7Ks for this event too if you guys are playing it. And then for the Mexico City event, which is taking place November 4th to November 5th, the featured 7Ks are Tropius, Axu, Rufflet, and Skiddo. So if you want to go for that Shiny Tropius, you want to get that Shiny super badly, you might want to consider hatching 7Ks here too. But yeah, guys, that pretty much su summarizes all of the additional updates they made on the Safari Zone blog posts. So again, I wish you guys luck on that shiny Safari Hat Eevee. It's not going to be easy to get, but fingers crossed that I can maybe at least get one of them. Uh, and if I do, I'm probably not going to evolve it, to be honest. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. Are you going to play the Safari Zones later on in the fall? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.